Hi guys, Tracy here with a quick layout share. This is the layout that I did for the Studio Calico Sunday sketch. Here's the sketch right there. There you go. So I really loved this sketch. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to do a layout using this sketch. So this is what I came up with. This is my take on it. And I kept the sketch pretty closely, except I obviously I used two pictures instead of one. And um, yeah, other than that, it's almost exactly like the uh, sketch. And I added a couple more embellishments. So all of the supplies are from, or most of the supplies, are from the Studio Calico March Kit, the Storyteller Kit, which I've been working my way through and having a lot of fun with. I just want to show you guys this paper, which I love. I love this background paper. This is from Crate Paper from the Storyteller Collection. And it's just really, really pretty. I love the subtle colors. And I love, it's like they're little brackets that look like chevrons. So I guess they sort of form a chevron shape. But if you look at them, they're little curly brackets. So, and I love brackets, so that's awesome. I also really love that Studio Calico font, the these letters and um, they're they're by Studio Calico. I'll just show you the sheet they come on. You guys are probably all familiar with this stuff anyways but um, so that's the sheet they come on and there's two different fonts in one which I love. I resisted the urge to outline and those letters are just begging to be outlined because they're so plain but I really wanted to keep them plain so I did a bit of ink splattering with my paint and um, I use some stays on ink to stamp the to stamp right on the photo. So this is this ampersand is by Glitz Designs, and then this is the Dear Lizzie uh, date stamp that came in the kit. I cut this heart with my silhouette, and then I outlined it. And then these are arrows that I also cut with my silhouette, and then I just pop them up on pop dots and inked around the edges with some vintage photo. I distressed around the edge of this big journaling block with my distressor and then I also went over it with some vintage photo just to define to provide a little bit of definition there um, and it's really easy to line up your stickers when you use grid paper because I literally just like lined them all up with this with this line and it was super super easy so this layout came together in probably about half an hour it's amazing so um, so yeah, that's really it. I've got a little cluster here with some more hearts and some more of that glitter ribbon. I think that's from American Crafts. It came in the kit and it didn't come with any packaging, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's from American Crafts. I think I've seen it in their line. So that's my layout. And then the other thing I just wanted to share with you guys today was my new strategy for keeping track of what supplies I'm using on all of my layouts. I used to do that on my blog, but I'm getting kind of tired of blogging in such a boring kind of way, so I think I'm going to start changing the way I use my blog. And so rather than a, kind of just a collection of what supplies I use for my layouts and links to my YouTube videos, I might start doing some more like personal blogging and stuff. So anyways, um, what I've been doing for the past six or seven layouts is I've been, I printed up a whole bunch of these and I just made these up and there it gives you a place for the title and then in this space here I just put like if I'm doing it for a design team or a challenge I'll put that there and then sometimes there's a due date if it's a challenge or something that you might win a prize for or something and then a place for what supplies I've used this is really really handy for design team work so that I can get my stuff done and submitted in time but it's also really good for if you're going to be submitting to um, magazines for publications because they of course need to know all of the stuff that you've used and then I down here I just have the these boxes are just a place that I keep track of like all the steps that are involved in making a YouTube video for example because sometimes I have a bunch of them on the go at once and I forget where I'm at with each one so I'll just keep this around until I'm done everything and then once all the check mark boxes are done then I know I can just and where I put them is I just slide it in the page protector behind the layout itself and so then if I ever submit it for publication I can just find it in my album pull out the sheet and so this is what the completed sheet looks like for example so I just made a note there that I used the Studio Calico March kit sorry you can't see me pointing sorry. <laughs> 
right here. I just made a note of what kit I used and um, all of the supplies that are used. And then I haven't done any of those things yet. And then I also use the back for, you know, like cleaning my stamps and stuff. It's nice to have a little piece of paper floating around that you can use for that kind of stuff too. So um, that's just kind of what I do that I thought I'd share with you guys because, um, you know, it's just kind of nice to be organized. I'm not a very organized person, believe it or not, so um, I need these kind of strategies to keep myself on track with all the projects I have on the go. So thanks, you guys, so much for watching, and hopefully the process videos will return pretty soon. Um, I don't know if I mentioned. I can't remember because this is my second take on this video. <laughs> um... My computer's on the fritz, and so I can't do any process videos because my um, my camera's actually full, and I can't get the com get the video off of the camera to free up the memory cards until I until my computer's fixed. And it's um, my computer is in a pretty serious state. Like I don't even know if we're going to be able to salvage it. I think it might be a lost cause. So um, we've got our fingers crossed that I'll be able to make process videos soon because I do miss making them. Um, but my last several layouts have not had process videos attached to them. So you might be seeing a couple more layout shares like this before I get back on track for the process videos. So thanks again for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers and everything. And um, I'll be back pretty soon with either a share or a process video. Thanks guys.